Hi Gemini, how are you? If you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Michelle and this is your weekly reading. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will. Not everything is going to resonate with everybody. And please keep in mind that the roles could be raised between you and your person. And with that said, let's dive in. Gemini, with your reading, keep in mind that these are all general. So of course, not everybody's going to have or experience the same outcomes. And with that said, let's just dive in real quickly. Please and thank you, Spirit. Give me the best cards for my beautiful uh, Gemini. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> I'm nervous. So we got the Three of Swords. We got the Ten of Swords in the Reverse, which is your energy. And Libra and Aquarius. We have Earth Signs, which is Virgo Capricorn. We have Emperor Energy, Aries Energy. Five of Swords, which is again air we got the ace of cups pisces and cancer we got leo energy and sagittarius energy as well and we have the judgment card which is a very strong libra and overall energy we have a pisces scorpio energy at the bottom we got libra again so once again it seems to be that you are either or going through a breakup or you have been going through a breakup or separation you have been uh, very heartbroken for a minute you have been going through a lot you know emotionally um breakups are not easy so it seems to be that you're trying your best to not let it stop you you're trying your best to not let it show up show because it seems to be that somebody betrayed you this could be cheating this could be ghosting you for others of you but it seems to be more towards like heartbreak which is more about cheating they did something that you never thought it was going to come from them as you trusted them with that said it seems to be that this person uh, most likely chose somebody else over you. And this person, uh, I feel like red flags were shown to you. Red flags were shown to you. And maybe your friends or your family told you, hey, be careful with this person. Like, I don't trust this person. But you chose to ignore that. And it seems to be that either or a tarot reader came true, a tarot reading came true, or whatever your intuition was telling you or other people were telling you was exactly what happened. They did have somebody else or they chose somebody else. Now, it seems to be that this person has uh, started a new relationship and this is something that is like very hard to believe and you're very hurt. You're very hurt about it. And the sad thing is that this person has made it very public that they're going with somebody else and they haven't shown any remorse or any regret of what they've done to you. Now, with that said, this is what you're going through. Don't worry much because somebody new is showing up. We have a very young, a younger energy. This could be because they're younger than you. This could also be because there's actually a newer a newer energy coming through. It seems to be that this person can message you through your social media, by the way. And with the princess of this right here, which is earth sign right here, you are going to be not shook, but you're going to actually most likely engaged because you may find this individual attractive but you're not actually thinking of any of it because again you're still like going through stuff and or this could be you know past traumas caused to that and the caused by that individual from the past but it seems to be that this things with you and this individual is going to get very spicy very quick as this person is very very attractive um the sexual life that you will have with this individual is very, very good. Um, for if it's, this person is a male, they have a very nice size. So you're going to be very satisfied, by the way. They're actually a very sexual person. They have the romantic romantic side, of course. But they're very sexual, like very sexual whatsoever. Uh, be careful because if you don't want kids, you can get pregnant with this individual because, ha, huh, and they like it natural you know without any if you can uh want kids this is the person to be but you guys are very fertile with this individual and like i said before i see you guys having sex three to four times a week by the way now what's funny is that as you are you're building this new foundation right but i see somebody ruminating around you like a love triangle yeah of course it has to be so it seems to be gemini that you're going to be in between haha, the new and the past as the past seems to be to reach out 
and it gets you confused you got like oh my god i'm confused about this situation yeah but i see the nine of swords here like having anxiety having stress like oh my god like i thought this was over like why is this individual reaching out to me why is there why are they here now like why do they want so i see like it's gonna be a very stressful moment because you will have the past who you loved coming back or wanted to come back and then you have a new 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 energy who is very very good and you have a very intense connection and you have developed feelings for so within the princess of swords you have to make the best decision for you it seems to be that you have the power this is like you have the power or you have the keys to that gate so you have to perhaps take a minute because you cannot make decisions under this pressure you know you have to take a minute to realize exactly what is that you want are you wanting the past because of memories or are you wanting the past because you really love them or are you wanting the new because it was uh somebody that show up or are you wanting the new because you can see yourself you know investing in it having a forever with this individual you know with the death card in reverse scorpio energy you are no longer you are no longer that person for the past you shed that skin but now you need to focus in what's important for you to let go of something you have to be able to end something so you can actually have the path clear now the cards are suggesting to not look back do not take the past as you know how things went down now you can do whatever you want as always because you have the free will you got your freedom but the cards are suggesting to do not invest in the past anymore because they're not worth it but once again you can do whatever you want with a fool right here and aries energy they're telling you the best bet is to invest in the new and i know what the new is quite scary because you know you don't really know exactly how things can go but isn't that the fun well at the end of the day they're suggesting you to look at the new not at the past now they want you or they're saying that the best inversion that you can make is within the new because the new it is offering you pure emotion, pure connection. Look at the bottom. The Empress Libra energy. Somebody that sees your value, who treats you like royalty, the way you should be treated. Somebody who sees you as wifey, hubby material. Somebody who doesn't need to be told what to do when it comes to giving your place. Somebody that already knows that. They don't need to be reminded of like, oh, I have to. No, they already know that so it's up to you but they're asking you to invest in the new look somebody the new that loves that you are you they're not jealous they don't forbid you how how to wear anything they love you for you they know that if you're with them it's because you it's because you want to they love to put you all over his social media or her social media they don't hide you they value you they cherish you they go like oh my goodness they they shower you with compliments you know not that you need them them because i know you're beautiful but it's nice to hear things good things about ourselves here and there from the people that we love right so in the past what did the past cost insecurities you should not be with somebody who fits your insecurities you need to be some, with somebody who actually embrace who you are and makes you feel the only person in the world for them, you know? But the past, look, only will bring despair, only will bring insecurities, only will bring heartbreaks. Choose wisely and where to invest and where to fight. Do not invest in a fight that is no longer yours. Do not invest in a fight that is completely meant to fail because a fight or a war is won by multiple people, not by just one person only. So everything in life, especially uh, relationships, are sacrifices because it's investing, you know, pushing forward, da 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 da. Make sure that your sacrifice and investment are where they should be at, with people who are going to actually understand it and cherish that. What is the past person wanting with Gemini? So they know.
they saw you, they were looking at your social media. And they want something with you. They want something with you. Not gonna lie. But there's gonna always be that third party or that possibility of them slipping to, you know, talking to people, not being so faithful, you know. But this person always bring heaviness. They bring burdens that you don't need. There's always trouble with them. There's always, they're always like, they have this flirtatious energy in where they don't know where to draw the line and when to stop. And this person will always make you feel that like you have to like fight for your place, like fight for the place that you deserve. Because if you're dating them, you're dating them, right? But they don't have respect and they don't know where to draw the line when it comes to that. So this person is technically not relationship material. The fool in reverse should not be invested in Aries energy. There's nothing, and pretty much it's telling me there's not, oh my god, there's nothing new about them, about their behavior. There's nothing new about that. Look, this is not a path that you're not been that you haven't been in. They're not your divine feminine, divine masculine, Taurus energy. They're not gonna fulfill those vows, even if you get married with this person, they're gonna still not fulfill those vows. They have the shady energy, magician and reverse air. They're shady. They're not willing. You should not trust them. They're not willing to change. Look, the four of ones. You're not going to be happy with them. Look, the devil, Capricorn energy. Always watching. Not that porn is bad, but hey, if you think or you told them that, they, that you don't want that, they don't care. They're always like looking at other people, disrespecting you in a way not relationship material you know that you know better but if you want a confirmation that's the one now what can you tell me about the new person for gemini oh this person is hot good sex good intentions they put a lot of effort into this connection they also are secretive meaning that they actually don't tell to show up everything right away this person doesn't like to argue they're not that difficult actually being with them is so simple you don't feel like you have to fight for something like it just happens like they're very simple to deal with look this person treats you like a like the goddess you are regardless of gender you know you're not dealing with a childish, immature, emotionally unavailable person. You're not like walking on, on thin ice. No, you're not. Look. Somebody who can actually say no to temptation. Somebody who doesn't have to be watched. Somebody that doesn't have to, you don't have to check their phone, for example. You know, as an example, and I'm saying that you're doing that, but somebody who knows who they are, who knows what they want, and they don't have, and they don't hesitate to say, hey, no, I'm thinking. There's somebody here that offers you what they really want, what they really can, and this person gives you your place. This also could be somebody who's not only very hot and mature, but also somebody who can provide if you were to need. They don't mind. They don't like to invest in you because they don't see that as a sacrifice. They are, that it's their pleasure to invest in you. This person is wealthy or have a good job. So you will never see with them financial need. So. They love giving you gift, like pampering you. So, I mean, the new seems very dope. So, I don't know. Up to you there. Okay, so what is the final advice? Oh, no, no. What is the purpose for all of this, the Gemini? What was the purpose of all of this? You needed to go through the tower of Scorpio energy so you could find yourself, so you can find your self-worth, so you can become more independent, so you can actually cut the cord with toxicity, so you can actually let go of codependency. Yeah, you cry, babe, you cried. But that's part of healing, that's part of the process of grieving. You know, breakups are hard. But hey, you let your emotions felt because when, whenever you do that, when you let edit everything go, when you actually crumble, there's no way that you're gonna go lower than that. From there, you have to rise and that's what you did and that was and that's what the purpose of all of this was so you can work on yourself you can rebuild focus on your hobbies finding a new hobby put you as the first priority so you can become this 
royalty. So you know your worth and you wouldn't accept less than what you actually know you want and deserve. Because yes, we deserve we deserve true love. Not crumbles. Not crumbs of love. What is the uh, final message for Gemini here? Look, justice, Libra energy, Gemini energy. So the <clears throat> outcome is that you're no longer like trying to accommodate to things that you're not happy with. Another thing is that you became centered. You became pretty much so strong that you want what's fair. You don't want just wishy-washy shit. You know what I'm trying to say? You are no longer like, oh, I don't like this, but I might come. It's all I can, I can achieve. Or I don't like how he treats me or she treats me, but I'm going to accept it because I can't do any better. You're no longer accepting that bullshit. You're not with that no more. You're actually, you know what, babe? I'm the justice, you know, I deserve, you know, your worth, like I said before, and you are requesting what's fair, like, oh, you want me to invest? What, what are you investing? Or you want me to be loyal? Where's your loyalty? So you are wanting and you are fair, give and take, and it's not 50 and 50, babe, it's 100 and 100, giving it all or nothing. That's what you want. You're no longer ruminating the past. You're no longer looking back and hurting your own feelings. You know what? You say, you know what? I went through that, accepted it, now I'm over it. You grow up. You glow up. That's what you did. Now, you're in this energy. Fertile, ready for new chapters, and you are actually waiting for this kind of offer. Now you sit, and everybody that has crossed your path or will be crossing your path you are not accepting less than the princess, queen, royalty treatment. Yes, you love emotions, but now you know that love, unfortunately, is not enough. In a relationship, you got to have balance when it comes to actions and love. And you learn that the hard way. And that is what you have become. Somebody who is willing to wait both. Not only emotion and intentions, but actions. And that is what you have become. You don't only want promises. You want actions. You want, okay, you promised me that? Okay, I want to see you do it. The devil. You are no longer tempted by temptation, by toxicity, because it's your comfort zone. You caught the court. You're no longer codependent. Nothing can remove your peace or take your peace from you as you're the magician you have all the tools you need so you know exactly emotionally spiritually and physically what you want no longer letting new words hurt you because you know words are just that they have no value unless you give them value realize that an insect is always an insect people who actually promise They'll show you with their actions. And that is, the, uh, that is the last message here. Look. If they're not willing to show you or invest, they're lying. That is the, the lesson here. You're no longer letting that. Lies, promises, empty promises. You're no longer accepting that. That is the best thing ever. You show them, Gemini. Okay, now. We're going to go here with ooh, the possible time. No, this is the time frame. So let's see what is the time. Okay. No. What is the base, the overall emotions in this energy of this reading? Hurt. Eager. Self-esteem. So, yeah. You're hurt. Strength is releasing that emotional pain. Hurt is your perception and your past experiences resulting in this strong emotions. Eager. It will happen, it will happen, and you are aware it will be happening. These thoughts take you away from this moment that needs to be focused upon. Self-esteem, understand your inner beauty that radiates outwards. You are precious in so many ways. When you feel good about yourself, it shows. Like I said before, you're hurt. You know it will happen, but at the end of the day, they want you to focus on today. Focus on your self-esteem as you are the main character of the story. So those are the main you know, emotions of this reading. 
now we're going to move forward with the uh, overall uh, energy, not energy, but I'm sorry, time frame. So keep in mind that these are general, so not everybody's going to experience the same thing. So let's see, let's see. So we have time frame is undetermined right now before the end of the summer months. And most of you got, it's better to give this more time to come in. So those are the possible and general time frames that you guys, guys got. Now we're going to move on with the possible initials. So keep in mind that this could be the first, last, or middle name. Again, no, not all the initials are going to belong to your person as it could be one or the other. Okay, so again, let's see. We got X, Y as in yes, P as in Patrick, F as in Frank, K as in KFC, C as in Cat, W as in Walter, Z as in Zebra, D as in Dog, G as in George, and A as in Apple, and at the bottom, M as in Michelle. So those are the possible initials of the person these people here so let me uh let me see what is the past person initial so i can give you a better i should have done it like that i forgot past person initials k r k s k f c r s and rose uh m s and michelle t s and uh, tum e s and elephant b s and boy and y s and yes so those are the possible initials of the past person let me just do it better i like to give more you know like clear you know messages now let's see the new person h is hamburger ellis and leo z as in zebra k as in kfc p as in patrick s as in sam t as in tom a as in apple r as in rose e as in elephant i don't know if i did that u as in umbrella g as in george and m as in michelle so those are that again for the new person and that's that. Now we're going to go to finalize your reading. I'm going to see what your angels have to say. What kind of messages they have for you. Let's see. We got let go. We got trust. Big happy changes. And last one, be assertive. And at the bottom it says no. So those are the messages they have for you. So, Gemini, this is officially the end of your reading. Thank you so much for watching me. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to win a free reading, make sure to subscribe to my channel. As every time my channel gains a thousand subscribers, I host a free reading giveaway. Right now, my channel is some numbers away from 10K. So once that happens, I'm going to have this giveaway. And I'm going to choose three lucky subscribers for the free reading spread. Um, I'm going to also, for the 10K, I'll be adding a fourth one. That fourth one's going to have a free reading, of course. It's going to be a live on Instagram only. So, again, that is what I'm having. Also, if you want a free card reading, make sure to subscribe to my channel and woof, come to my live. And this Saturday was going to be, I believe, the, I believe Saturday, the 18th, this, this week. Um, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. CST. I'm going to be having a one card reading for everybody I can. So make sure to tune in as you guys are a lot and I need, you know, may I may be able, I may not. But if you want, make sure to tune in by 7, which is going to be the time I'm going to be live here on YouTube. And with that said, uh, I'm most likely to already show you. So it's going to be my social medias. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I always follow back. If you like more free stuff and more terror stuff, make sure to follow me on my TikTok. I'm close for personal readings right now and with that said keep in mind that I do not message anybody offering any free readings or any readings at all I do not message anybody offering any of my services as I have my own website and I do not request money I do not message anybody requesting money please make sure that not give any information to those accounts as they're not mine they have been reported multiple times everybody knows but unfortunately TikTok and they don't take them down so unfortunately you got to just report and block keep in mind like i said before i do not request money or nothing so if you see something like that make sure to block report and block as when i do tiktoks and i offer stuff over there i never request to be uh messaged or anything as like i said before i don't request messages or i don't and i never ever message before or message first offering or asking for anything um once again the only way that you request that you can message me or i request the message is when i on youtube set it set it for the giveaway besides that i do not like i said ever message anybody and or request anything keep that in mind with that said guys thank you so much you guys have an amazing day and see you guys soon bye